Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. I guess today I'm just on an unboxing spree. I haven't even changed my sweatshirt to make it look like a different day. But today, the third box in the unboxing marathon that I'm currently doing is the Sephora Play box for this month, which is currently... April. Sometimes I get confused. Which means next month is my birthday. I'm gonna be 26 years old. If you can believe it, I'm sure you can. <laughs> Anywho, instead of thinking about that, let's go ahead and get into this box here, the Sephora Play box for the month of April. Sephora Play is a $10 a month subscription service that runs through Sephora and it comes with a multitude, as in five to six <laughs> different like beauty and makeup samples. It does come with free shipping, but you do have to pay like the state tax or something like that. It also comes with a little card here that gives you 50 extra beauty insider points if you like to collect those up and get like a tiny little lipstick or something. So inside we have our little bag for the month. They typically come in these little canvas bags. This one says make it snappy, which I don't know if I'm getting the reference? Oh, okay, the theme for this month is Insta Beauty, which now make it snappy makes sense to me. Plus it's also like alluding to Instagram as well, very clever. And inside of our pamphlet here that has the play card on it, it'll tell us all about the products inside of the bag, but I try not to look at that before I get through everything to make it a little bit more of a surprise. The bag for this month actually feels decently full, so I'm gonna go ahead and reach in here and pull out hopefully the perfume sample. I do try to go ahead and get it out of the way. Ooh, and this time I did actually grab it out. So this is from, oh no, Mew Mew? Mm -hmm. This is from Mew Mew, M-I-U, M-I-U perfumes. And I think I've seen this before several times. Yes, I have. And the scent that I have for this month is Le Rose et des Toilettes, which I'm sure I have pronounced incorrectly. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little spritz and a sniff. Oh, I can feel 26 approaching. Every time I move my arm around, my shoulder cracks. It's like every time I move it around. This has a very like light refreshing scent to it. It's a little bit kind of rosy, but at the same time, it's almost a little bit grapefruity. It's kind of like, florally and fruity at the same time. It's not exactly my favorite scent. I personally like to smell like it's fall all year round, so I like those really like deep spicy perfumes. Let's go ahead and fish around in here and pull out the next thing. I'm gonna go for this tiny thing at the bottom. Oh, okay, so next up we have something from Peter Thomas Roth, which I don't know if I've ever really tried anything from Peter Thomas Roth, apart from like tiny little samples that I've received in these bags. But this is Skin to Die For, No Filter, Mattifying Primer, and a Complexion Perfector. Ooh. <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited about this. I feel like we've received the same primer, y'all know which one I'm talking about, for like ever in subscription boxes. So I'm excited to have something a little bit different. So if you can see it right here, squeezed out into the back of my hand, it does seem to have like a slight tint to it, but it does feel really, really nice on the hand. And I can already see it kind of like filling in a little bit of my pores and fine lines on the back of my hand. So I'm definitely excited to give this a go. It feels like it's moisturizing my hands a little bit as well. So that's pretty interesting. I'm also not gonna lie. I think the uh, purple little packaging here is pretty cute. Alrighty, next up in here, I'm feeling something that doesn't feel like standard sample packaging, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Oh, this actually looks super cool. Okay, so this is from It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Finishing Powder. <laughs> this is an airbrush silk pressed anti-aging finishing powder that's supposed to make your pores disappear. This is actually pretty interesting, also quite sticky. So it comes in this little like plastic container here with a tiny little sponge on it. Looks like a big like Minto or Tom or something. And then we have the actual powder itself. It is super, super like finely, finely milled. Wow, that's soft. Ooh, it over top of that primer. My hand feels like a baby's behind. That feels so, so soft. All right, this I am definitely excited to try out. Plus, I'm really happy to see something like this in a Sephora play. I feel like we never get products like this. So this is definitely interesting to me. And it's also gonna be helpful for when I do my entire face from like sample makeup thing, which I hope to do someday soon. That just feels so good on the back of my hand. That feels heavenly. And we still have have a few things in here that feel decent size, actually. I'm gonna go ahead for this cardboard box. Alrighty, next up we have something from Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen. We've been getting a lot of sunscreen products in the past few boxes that I've done. It's like they think it's summer out there or something. Like I said, at least where I'm from, we are currently in the middle of like our 19th winter. And I intend to stay indoors until Mother Nature just gets it together, because right now she has no idea what's going on. Alrighty, 
Alrighty, so this also is a bit too deep for me. It's actually quite a bit too orangey for me currently. It does seem to blend in pretty nicely though, and it sinks into the skin pretty well too. It doesn't feel like too super greasy or anything. I feel like this would just give kind of like a nice light subtle like tint to the face. It wouldn't really do any like covering of anything, so this would definitely be for a very light to no makeup day. Alrighty, next up in here we have something from Urban Decay. There have been some pretty good things in this month's bag. I'm actually impressed. So these are the new Urban Decay like lip gloss line. Apparently lip gloss is like the thing of this year. Everybody's coming out with lip glosses. This is the Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. I hope we got a good shade. Ooh, <laughs> this is definitely a fun shade. So I received mine in the shade SPL. I don't really know what that's supposed to stand for. So this is a really, really cute little lipstick tube with a very, very like sparkly pink lip gloss on the inside. Ooh, it smells like mint. It smells like those mints that you get at like weddings or like buffets. I know quite a bit about buffet mints and this smells exactly like a buffet mint. But this is super cute. Again, I'm pretty excited to have something that's so new in this bag, but I have to say I am not a huge lip gloss fan. I know lip gloss is like the thing of the year, but for some reason, I've never been a huge lip gloss fan, so this might have to pass on to somebody else, but I think it's adorable. So let's go ahead and grab the very last thing out of here, and this is from Fresh. This is the Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask, and this is a seaweed radiance facial. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. There's actually like seaweed hunks in here. That's such a strange smell. I can't tell if I like it or not. It's almost like they're trying to cover up the fact that it smells like the ocean with some other type of fragrance, and I don't know if it's really working or not. I don't know. I don't know if I like the smell or not, but that's pretty cool. Again, a little bit different. I have not received this before in a subscription, so that makes me really excited. And this is supposed to make your face all nice and soft and glowy, so that's pretty cool. Overall, I think I'm actually very happy with this month's bag. I typically am not like the biggest fan of Sephora Play, but for some reason this month is like, it's making me a little bit excited. There's some stuff in here that I've never tried before. Some new things I think are gonna be pretty cool. Stuff I've never seen in subscriptions before, so Overall, I have to say that I'm very happy with this month's subscription. But let me know what you guys think. I always love reading your thoughts and opinions down below. Did you get this month's bag? Were you really happy with the items that you received? I personally, I'm pretty happy overall. So I really hope that you guys who have received a bag this month are happy as well. But yeah, I guess that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.